Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's talk about the MediaTek Diamond City 900 SoC. And I feel this is a very good mid-ranger chip in the market because uh, for the price to performance uh, that this chip offers, I feel it's a very, very good chip. And it's actually, it's a pretty advanced chip set. As you can see from the screenshot, it does offer a lot of things. For example, it has 108 megapixel camera support, 120 hertz, uh, what do you say, uh, refresh rate. And also it's based on six nanometers process and having the powerful ARM Cortex A78 also has a lot of AI features and also have, of course has 5G support. In fact, uh, this uh, chipset also actually has the MediaTek Hyper Engine 3 which is actually great for gamers because these days a lot of uh, people are doing online gaming with FPS and all these things and if you are on a cellular network, uh, this chipset actually detects which cell tower is having the lowest latency so that you can get better pings. And in fact, uh, if you guys recall uh, the recently the Samsung Galaxy M53 was also launched and this actually came with this uh, MediaTek Diamond City 900 SoC and I feel uh, Samsung is actually taking advantage of a lot of the advanced features that this chipset offer so we'll have a look at it but to give you a brief idea about the m53 uh, uh, again it is having a 6.7 inch uh, screen and uh, uh, it comes with six or eight uh, gigabytes of ram also you can double the ram i'll show you ram plus option is also there on that one and again uh, these are the various specs of the galaxy m53 in fact guys if you want to know more about the galaxy m53 you can watch my unboxing video but in this video let's talk about some of the features uh, of this chipset using this one as the example okay the first thing uh, i would like to uh, and again you guys also would like to know is what is the performance of this pediatric diamond city 900 soc so let's let me actually show you some of the benchmarks that i have run on uh, this uh, smartphone let's start with Andrew 2 and as you can see we got a very respectable score of 4 lakh 35,000 for this and for the mid-range pricing of this chipset it's a very very good chipset I also ran again uh, some other benchmarks guys you can also run it uh, so that you know uh, the idea in fact this is for gaming uh, this is 3d mark and uh, on wildlife we got a score of 2196 again this is a pretty good score guys I also ran the popular uh, Geek uh, Bench 5. Again, you can also download this on your smartphone and run it. And uh, single core, we got uh, 631, which is a very respectable score. And multi core, we got almost 2000, that's 1998. So, needless to say, in terms of benchmarks, uh, it's actually performing very well. Another thing that I liked about this chipset is that though it's a powerful chipset, in fact, it does not heat up that much based on six nanometer process. In fact, on this one, uh, Samsung is also having vapor cooling. So even for gaming, it was actually pretty good. Now moving to the camera uh, on this Galaxy M53, uh, the main camera is 108 megapixel uh, and uh, this Diamond City 900 actually uh, has uh, support for 108 megapixel camera. In fact, uh, the MediaTek uh, Diamond City 900 actually has very powerful image technologies and uh, AI processing and in fact I feel Samsung is actually taking uh, advantage of that yes the 108 megapixel camera let me actually show you take some good samples uh, that is not an issue uh, the samples come out actually good skin tones are produced very well in fact it's utilizing AI let me actually show you some other features uh, that are not many people know about it again this is all uh, based on AI enhancements and stuff, which is actually pretty important in photography. Let me just start with this one. Uh, let's talk about image remastering. And this is the gallery app. And this is a sample shot that I took. And if you notice, this is a pretty decent shot considering it was taken in artificial lighting. But let's say you want to enhance it a little bit. I think the lighting could have been better, but uh, I can go to the remaster picture. And again, it's doing that AI analysis over this one. And in a couple of seconds, again, as you can see before and after so you can easily enhance the pictures using this and uh, this is pretty uh, fast on uh, this smartphone thanks to the AI processing another thing that I like and this can be a uh, what do you say saver for your pics in fact uh, uh, this is the image uh, object eraser that Samsung likes to call again in this gallery and let's say I hit this and let's say you want to remove this clip uh, I just go to the object eraser again it's going to analyze it and now you just draw a circle around the area that you want and then you just hit erase again 
it just erased it and if you notice how quickly it did that i'll just undo that and i'll cancel this let's try a complicated image this was easy let's try a little bit complicated image and see okay here okay i like this pic but the spot is over here let's see uh, if we can erase this one with the object eraser we go over here and again you click here object eraser and again let it analyze and i have to actually let me zoom and i have to draw a circle around this area and let's hit erase Again, as you can see, that is it is. So this object eraser, if you press done, it will just save it as a new clip over here. So this object eraser also works and some of the AI enhancements that they have done in the camera, uh, they are utilizing the AI capabilities of the MediaTek Dimensity 900 SoC. Okay, moving to the next thing is again, uh, regarding the screen guys, this is having an AMOLED screen, 6.7 inch screen. And uh, this is also supporting 120 Hertz, which the chipset supports. And in, in fact, even at 120 Hertz, it's a very fluid experience. So uh, it's good to see uh, Samsung is uh, putting 120 Hertz uh, screen on this one uh, which the chipset actually supports uh, next thing is uh, regarding the some again this comes back to the ai functionality and when you take calls on the samsung galaxy m53 uh, they actually have a function called voice focus and uh, this is useful in what do you say noisy environments etc out, outdoors if you're taking a call what it does is intelligently again uh, based on ai and other algorithms uh, it actually focuses on your voice minimizing the background noise so even in noisy situations the other party will hear you clearly uh, so that is also done on this uh, chipset again guys these are things that are done in background thanks to the chipset ai and the software optimization so again i feel they are taking a lot of advantage of the ai optimizations found on the chipset uh, next thing is again regarding gaming guys uh, this chipset is also pretty good on this i'm not a big gamer but i did play call of duty on this one at uh, that even the highest very high settings and it played very fluidly without any issues in fact uh, uh, even after like extended gaming i played three four games continuously the back was not getting hot at all on this smartphone uh, because the galaxy m53 is actually having a vapor chamber also uh, one thing that, that uh, samsung has introduced on this uh, galaxy m53 is that uh, it comes in two variants as i told you six gigabytes of ram and 12 gigabytes of ram i have the basic six gigabyte ram in this one and if you go to the settings guys over here uh, and if you go to the memory here it will give you an idea as you can see we have the ram plus option so you can extend the ram you have three options 2 gb 4 gb and 6 gb uh, so you can actually uh, theoretically double the ram you want this is the six so if i give one more six to it i can have 12 gigabytes of ram and on the eight gigabyte uh, variant you can extend it up to 16 gigabytes so that is also a feature found on this galaxy m 53 using the ram plus option uh, as the uh, diamond city uh, 900 chipset supports 5g of course this smartphone is also supporting 5g so you don't have to worry about that uh, one thing that i really liked about the uh, mediatek diamond city 900 is how power efficient uh, this chipset is it's based on six nanometer process and it's a very power efficient uh, chipset uh, the idle drain is also very very low in fact uh, this smartphone has 5000 milliamp hour battery and uh, it gets actually excellent excellent battery life easily about one and a half to two days and i think so that is because of how efficient this diamond city 900 chipset is is so in terms of battery life also you get actually very very good battery life with the mediatek diamond city 900 uh, series of socs and uh, i appreciate samsung though the galaxy m53 is the first smartphone they introduced with the mediatek diamond city 900 i feel they have taken advantage of a lot of features that the chipset actually uh, supports uh, but anyways what do you feel about the mediatek diamond city 900 soc and if you have any smart smartphones uh, that uh, are uh, running on the mediatek diamond city 900 what's your experience what would, would love to know that so share your experience in the comments below anyways guys uh, that's it for now for this video thanks for watching and if you guys are still not subscribed to the youtube channel hit that subscribe button anyways guys take care catch you later